All right, guys, here we go. Episode 132. This week, playing us the Illinois Fighting Illini. And they beat the crap out of me last year. Yes, the computer beat me down. So I'm looking for revenge. Had a great week last week again against Michigan State. Looking forward to do it again. And they got their backup quarterback starting. So maybe that'll maybe that'll be what we need. But he's the second best player on their team. So jumping into the game here. I got the ball to start the game. Nice little read option. Uh, like, I think it's a triple option. Well, action pass sets me up pretty good. Little drill option again. Hand off to Buckley. Get some good blocks for 82 way out there. And just fall in the end zone. That actually works out for me out there. I'll take it. <laughs> I typically hate when the computer does that. But whenever I should have got tackled nine yards later, nine yards previously, I ended up falling in the end zone. I'll take it. I'll take it. So touchdown on my first possession. They end up going. I think they missed a field goal. So I get the ball back. First and goal. A uh, little pass to Porter for the touchdown. I, I've been throwing the ball really well, running running a couple of different plays. Like I'm four from four, 57 yards. A little bit different than what I usually run. Uh, dump it off to the running back who gets huge gain. That was a nice play. That was actually a nice play. I liked that one a lot. Uh, if I could find that, I probably would. This one, they pretty much do what I just did. A little play action pass. It's the tight end for the touchdown. And he was wide open too. No safety help. Nobody was near him. Um, and that's pretty much worse than at half. It's a 17-7 game. I kicked the field goal, but nothing super special. Look at the stats. I'm putting up some yards. It's 270 yards to their 152. Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. <laughs> their first possession, we get the ball. They don't do anything. Third and eight. Dumping off the Porter again. He was huge for me this game. Uh, first and goal, so I give my tight end a touchdown. I haven't I've missed Schwaba. I hit him every now and then a couple of times a game, but I don't hit him as often as I should. And that's, that's kind of sad because <laughs> he's a senior. So I, t I took care of that this game. Hit him quite a bit in this game. Sets me up pretty good. Third and goal, a little read option. And Alvidi just kind of strolls in. Nice little touchdown go up 31-7 to seven at the end of the third quarter. And we got the ball back and making stuff happen again. And bam. Yes, sir. Go for it on fourth down. I don't think so. They, they tried to go for it on fourth down like three times this game. It was ridiculous. So I'll make a pay. I go over the top. I beat the linebacker. Safeties were watching the outside. So why not? Why not let it fly, like Chris Moose said? So I did. <laughs> that one, oh, ooh, I was worried about that, Holland. And they dropped a lot of picks. This game should have um, not been as dominating as it was. So I'll, I'll take whatever I can get. And, and uh, Buckley gets another touchdown for us. So fourth and 16 right at the end of the game. I just lob it up deep. I'm like, why not? He beat that at corner. Holland, Holland with a huge catch on fourth and 16. Sets us up first and 10. So I drop back pass, run with my normal. A normal tight end touchdown play. And we get on the board again to end the game just to rub it in their faces, man. Like I said, they beat me last year, so I want to beat them pretty good. And a 52-7 to win is, is, is pretty much that. And I even got the mascot and the stands going on. And looking at the play of the game, it was actually Alvidi because he's he's a boss like that. Uh, 23 for 34, 344 yards, 12 carries for 14 yards, 5 total touchdowns. This was his worst game running of the season. Um, and he ran pretty good, just got sacked a couple of times. But other than that, pretty per good performance by my team. Very happy about that. Look at the games around the country. Uh, Oklahoma beat Baylor. That's the only ranked game, so it's the only one that matters. Game stats, look at that performance, man. 566 yards. Time of possession, not quite there, but I mean, I was just just moving the ball at will. Defense stepped it up. It was a great game. Alvidi, Lancaster, players of the game. It was nice to have people visiting, too. So we're going to see what the advance is like. We'll be right back. All right, just going to show the highlights from the game against Illinois. Got my revenge for last year. Feels good. That wasn't the 83-point game that I wanted, but I mean a 52-7 is pretty, pretty demoralizing. So I'll take it. I'll take it for sure. So you can see how everybody else did. Penn State ends up winning 59-17. Iowa wins 31-11. NC State had a bye week. Akron wins 27-10. Cincinnati didn't get their game in, so sorry, man. Gonna skip past you. Gotta keep things moving along. Washington State won 52-28. Missouri wins 44-26. Pitt won 42-35. Mid-Tennessee State, I'll get it out eventually, wins 45-24. If you want to see the Oklahoma State game and score, make sure you go check out the Italian channel. Links in the description as always. So we're going to advance it, and we'll be right back. All right, just get on with the advance. I have a bye week this week, so this next video is not going to be any gameplay footage, but I think we're going to show um, pretty much where everybody ended up sitting for the conference, as well as the award winners or potential award winners and stuff like that. But... That's not going to be this video. It's going to be the next one. So let's see everybody else, what they're doing. Penn State's got a bye week. Iowa's got a bye week. NC State, Akron, Cincinnati plays Houston. Washington State bye week. Missouri, Pitt, Mid-Tennessee State. And then Oklahoma State plays Oklahoma. So only two people play this week. Wow. So if you want to see some gameplay footage for the next video, Oklahoma State's going to have a video, the Italian. It's going to be nice. See, see what's going on top 25. Man, 
and we're sitting pretty much the same pretty much the same um we just need oregon oklahoma and lsu to lose so hopefully oklahoma loses and drops out of the top 10 because I, I got i mean i got two losses which is crazy because lsu is above me with two losses one less win and the only the only person in the sec that's ranked it in the top 10 is missouri and i'm i'm one of three in the top 10 in the big 10 so that's a so ridiculous akron jumped way up 13 number 18 dang he's sitting pretty good at 10 and 2. mid tennessee state's ranked again anybody else um no question mark check out the bcs yeah next week we'll also show um the potential bowl games unless something happens because i know penn state's gonna have to play iowa that's that's set in stone and nc state is gonna have to play Pitt. so that's set in stone so potential for me to move regardless <laughs> how how unlikely yeah but potential regardless so that could be interesting anybody else akron number 12 mid tennessee state Oh, just out of just out of it, it looks like. So it's looking pretty pretty good. The last of the season is gonna be gonna be great, man. Um, we got this week for sure, and then next week we got the conference championships. So it's gonna be a doozy. That's gonna be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see y'all next time.